Yes, I'm Ernest Buyok from Concentra Media. We are a publisher in, in the Flemish part of Belgium and I'm responsible for everything we do with audio and video. Okay. Um, so you know this song from the 80s that's Video Killed the Radio Star? Video Killed the Radio Star, yes I know. Yes, very good. Do you think video is having the same effect on print industry? No, no, I don't think so. No? Uh, no. no, I think that's, you know, it's an addition. You, you add something to the to the media and so I think if you have for example uh, you read an article about something you is which is hard to believe and then you could add some video and so one can see it that makes the article stronger but I, I don't think you should replace writing in, in, in by viewing or listening by viewing I mean it's all additional mm -hmm. um, are there any um new media or video sort of heavy projects that you would like to see Concentra doing or advocating for that maybe it's not right now that you think would be cool to pursue? Yeah, we're working um, on a national uh, digital TV channel for digital television. So I hope we can release uh, some channels this year and next years because um, we feel that more and more television becomes um, uh, a, a, a target group product, you know, not for a broad public, but just go to the target groups. Let's make television for specific groups. And since digital television came, we can. We, we can have as many channels as we, as we want. We also want to bring internet channels to the television, something Apple TV already does, but then in a, in a very closed environment, we would like to open it so that you can add uh, interesting internet channels uh, to your playlist on your television so that it doesn't make any difference anymore if, whether you're on the internet or whether you're watching a broadcaster and if we can do that of course then we can do whatever we want because go over IP to the television I think that's the future yeah. why do you think it's important for media outlets especially print-based media outlets to have their own sort of video strategy and video players when there are existing things like YouTube and other things? Why is it important for print media to catch on to this? Well, I think, I don't think print media should do video just to do video. But, you know, every print brand makes a selection for, his, for the public. The public they are writing for, for example, at Belang van Limburg, the, our newspaper in Limburg, they work for the province of Limburg. So you can't say to an audience, you know, if you want to know something about Limburg on video, just go to YouTube, because, you know, they make the selection and they present it to their audience, and that's why, what the brand stands for. So I think the audience always wants a brand to make a choice. And if, you, if you're not happy with that choice, you can always go on YouTube and look for yourself. But I think like 80%, 90% of the people just wanted the brand to make the choice for them. Yeah. What's your favorite book? My favorite book? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, the Kite Runner was the last one I read. Very it was good book. fantastic. Did you and see then, the movie? No, not yet. I always read the book first. Yeah. And in the Shadow of the Wind, um, uh, that, was a, that, was, that was a very good one. But the Kite Runner I read uh, a few weeks ago and it was fantastic. Yeah. Very I read it in English and then in Dutch, and now I'm going to watch the movie. Oh, how was it in English oh, compared much to Dutch? Much better, much better. Yeah. But it, it's the, what was good about the story, of course, you have the story with the two boys, etc. But the good thing about the book was that I, for the first time, and I'm 54, for the first time I knew something, I understood something about Afghanistan. Isn't that a shame? So you have to read a novel to understand something about what is happening in Afghanistan. So that's what the media do. Very often, they give us a very bad impression of reality. And so, I always say to the young journalists who work with us, for us, or the older journalists who work for us, read a book sometimes, because it makes you think a little bit different than everything you see only in media. It's not only television and newspapers. Read books. Read books. <laughs> Great. That is it. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you.